Hey guys, it's Sky from Our Magazine and in this video I'm going to be talking about another Kim Kardashian controversy and this time it is something that you don't see coming. And so she's currently in a controversial discussion, let's say, um, after visiting the um, Menendez brothers. So there was a surprising visit to the Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility near San Diego and Kim Kardashian met with Eric and Lyle. Cooper, you went to visit Eric. Yeah. Talk to me how that visit came about with Kim Kardashian. No yeah. Less. So Kim and Scott Budnick do a lot of prison reform work and um, she had seen the show she called me and told me she loved it and, and, you know, she feels for them. And they had a trip planned to go down there to talk about this green space project that Lyle and Eric are spearheading. They've been working on it for a long time. And she invited me to go with them. And I was like, yeah, I'm so down. And so we went down and we went to this gymnasium where we sat around with 30 or so incarcerated individuals who all shared their stories. And it was very emotional and inspiring and actually something really interesting they all said that they came from dysfunctional families, which I found to be, yeah, really, really interesting and, and devastating. And um, yeah, I got to meet both of them and just tell them I believe them and, and I support them and I did everything I could to, to portray them authentically. Did your impression of them change in any way after meeting them and having these conversations? In fact, it made my beliefs about them stronger. They're so kind. They're such amazing people. They, they've done so much uh, good in prison. They just graduated from UC Irvine. They, they are doing this green space project, as I said. Eric teaches meditation and speech classes. Like They're, they're very involved, and, and they're really wonderful people. Amazing. And I know that he had a response to the show. And mm -hmm. then you, of course, spoke to him afterwards. Tell me what you said when he uh, called the project inaccurate. Yeah, all I said was I understand how he feels, and um, I get how difficult it would be to have the worst part of your life be televised in a dra dramatized way for millions of people to see. And so I just, I support him. I understand how that must feel. And, and yeah. You do a really beautiful job of peeling back the layers and making us think a little bit more. What was it like um, going into these characters and going into portraying Lyle and perhaps knowing that you're showing an audience a side to the story that we may not have known about? Yeah, we were tasked with sharing these characters uh, and these real people from several different perspectives, right? Um, so I was trying to assimilate um, a wide variety of different materials from the scripts to everything that I had researched, uh, the trial footage, and ultimately you come away with uh, an interpretation that shows this story from uh, many different perspectives and sides. Absolutely, and your performances are both so incredibly powerful, I have to say. Thank you. You really make us stop and think, and you bring us back to that time. And also, as with any Ryan Murphy production, there's going to be something we're talking about. And you know yeah. what we're talking about. We're talking about the relationship between the two of you. What were your thoughts on introducing this kiss and the uh, insinuation of an incestuous relationship? Well, I think it really all comes from this one perspective, mm -hmm. which was the Dominic Dunn theory. Yes. And honestly, I, I don't think it's true. It's just his point of view, his perspective. And, you know, the cool thing about that scene in episode seven, where he's talking about it and explaining the theory, you know, at the end of that scene, there's a, it cuts to a shot from behind him and all of the friends that were sitting at the table are now gone. And I think that's sort of like the mise-en-scene way of saying that his point of view is kind of not very favorable. And so I don't think anything like that happened. I think it was just, we're showing all of the perspectives in this show so that the audience can act like the jury did and, and give their opinion at the end. So obviously they're really famous, I don't want to use, but they're really well known in particular at the moment um, because of obviously they've got um, the Netflix documentary coming out soon and they've also got their kind of, they've got a series that's indirectly and it's about them but obviously they're nothing to do with it we'll get into that um but yeah they're notorious for their high profile murder trial back in the 1990s hey kim do you think the menendez brothers are going to be freed so the meeting was actually reported by tmz on Saturday um, and it comes very shortly after Eric one of the brothers publicly criticized Kardashian's collaborator Ryan Murphy 
over said show that I'm on about, um, the Netflix series, and it's called Monsters, The Lie on Eric, Men and Den's Story, which dramatises their lives, and also, like it says in the name, makes them out to be the monster. So there's a lot of controversy around that, and around that, and it's just, it's crazy. But Kim was accompanied by her sister, anyway, Khloe Kardashian, and also her mother, Chris Jenner um, and Kim basically was engaged with a group of around 40 inmates and she was discussing her ongoing commitment to the criminal justice reform and just kind of discussing with them their thoughts and stuff like that now she's this isn't the first time that she's done something like this and she is also training to work within law be a lawyer she's passed one of her um mini bar exams she's got the real deal coming up soon but obviously Eric and Lyle work um, convicted of um, brutally unaliving their parents in their home back in 1989 and they have got life in prison because of that and uh, that subject on its own has a lot of controversy because they were doing it to escape their parents they were the real monsters in the situation but then also it's that thing of taking someone else's life and that's also that's always been that topic so when Kim um reached out to them and spoke to them on top of Ryan Murphy being in the spotlight. You following me? <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously Card um, Kim Kardashian is kind of stepping into her role of a lawyer. She is also going to be playing a lawyer um, in a upcoming show, um, which is called All Fair. Um, yeah, All's Fair. Um, so that's also for Ryan Murphy. So it's very, very interesting. But let me know your guys' opinions on not only Kim Kardashian visiting them, but also what are your thoughts on the Monsters Netflix series? Please leave your comments down below. And you can find us on Instagram at Aman underscore mag and on Twitter at Aman Magazine 1.